testing. Hello. Where are we at? July twenty second, twenty twenty one, one zero one Villanova sewer main. Going into the house under slab of the basement. We're trying to descale the three inch cast time. All right, starting a new uh, video here in the Nerly Carol YouTube channel. Thanks for joining along once again. It's going to be all in pipe inspection on this. Are going to be all clips of pipe inspection, so don't get too excited. Um, it's not going to be the best of quality since it is a sewer camera, but you're looking in a four inch cast iron drain. I had that wrong about it being a three inch. It does go three inch vertical up through the slab floor, but out here, I, it's, I know it's got to be four inch. Um, it's closing off pretty good. It's starting to snag paper and solids as it tries to, you know, as the residents try to flush the toilets or whatever the case might be. Um, and you got also remember in a lot of these uh, situations, if it's an older house, it might be an older couple, or well, a cu older couple where one of them has to use the bathroom more often due to medical conditions, and such as was the case here at this property. Um, so we went through and cleaned it up, and this is basically the process of where I started. And then hopefully at the end of it, you can see the difference. I got carbide tip chains on the rigid K9204, which is a flexible shaft auger machine run by my Milwaukee M18 cordless drill on clutch setting three, I believe it is. They got a smaller unit called the 102, which I never leave off the first clutch setting. That's how uh, that's how careful I am with trying to treat it so that uh, if it does snag on something, it doesn't twist the cable apart. But instead, the electronic clutch kicks in and turns off the whole thing. So I'm just starting. What I've done is actually made it so the chains do not open up very wide so that I can get into the smaller crusty parts of the pipe better and then later I'll pull it out I'll adjust the chain so it opens up a little bit more and clean it out fully and completely once you've used these machines uh, for a long enough time you kind of get an idea of how well uh, of, a, of a passage and a, and a job that it's doing and sometimes I actually gauge how well it's doing by seeing if I'm able to get my camera head past the chains or not. In this case, I think I actually just tried it. I wasn't able to get it, so I'm going to continue cleaning it up. From here on, it's basically just kind of a boring situation where I'm going and I'm running the machine, letting it sit, letting it chew away. Um, it's a bit of a lengthy process because of the amount of crust and scale built up on the inside of this cast iron drain. And um, yeah, it's just a matter of spending a some quality time down in the pipes here making sure it's all cleared out from front to back and then I'm also going to be able to show you I'm able to, to kind of navigate up inside going backwards into a couple Y branches and I'll show you that too but uh, it's pretty cool being able to um, kind of navigate your flex shaft and camera up the back side of a Y fitting so I'll show you that here shortly I don't know how easy it is to see here, but um, I have a bunch of gunk and scale build up on the back side of my chain heads as I'm spinning it. And what I'll do is, as I accumulate more scale and rust that's flaked off from the inside of the pipe, as I'm spinning it like this, I'm pulling it back, and what I'm able to do is pull this wad of, of scale out with me. Um, it does help chew it up as it does spin, it kind of turns it into fine coffee grounds looking, and uh, as it pulls it out, I'm running water and I'm pulling it out at the same time, slowly and carefully so it doesn't sit back in the pipe and cause a blockage at a later date. Of course, you want to make sure to get all the stuff out of there that you flaked off from the pipe. Here's some more coming at you. And um, just so you know, it, this takes a couple passes to um, take care of over the course of the couple hours that I'm here in this job. So a couple passes, not just once, you know, I'm going at it thoroughly to make sure it's all clear. You can kind of see the, the wad or the, or the pile of gunk in front of the chains, or should I say on the, in the back, on the back side of the chains as I'm pulling it towards me out uh, to the street. And it'll get flushed out, out the PVC pipe, because they actually have a new uh, sewer lateral made of PVC pipe. So someone replaced that, which is nice. They don't have to worry about that.
All right, so like I was saying, I was going to show you being able to go up backwards through a Y, backside of a Y. Sometimes it's coincidental, sometimes it's deliberate. I'm kind of able to sort of steer the direction of the flat shaft, depending on which direction I have it rotating. You always want it going forward, rotating forward. Sometimes you can get it to rotate backwards slowly so you don't unwind the cable um, to keep it from going in a Y or to go in a Y that's going off the left of the branch main. So right now, uh, every branch is coming in to the right of the main. Um, so I got fortunate enough there. It was actually pretty easy to get back up these Ys. I believe this is the underside of a toilet or a bathroom, but I'm going to flush the toilet and see what happens. All right, so that was it. Toilet got flushed. I'm pulling back because the water is, you know, rising in the in the uh, pipe before I get a chance to drain out. Pull back. I see what I'm looking at. Toilet flush. We're clear. Um, this isn't really a problem. This pipe itself there is doing pretty good. It's it's the brand. It's the the main serving the whole house that I'm concerned about. And there's a bunch of spots that I'm going through and working at descaling. So that's about it for that branch. I'm gonna pull out of that Y and continue on to the next. There's one for the washing machine. There's one for a floor drain off to the side, which um, serves for this water softener, water filter, drain for that area, all that good stuff. Here I am going again at uh, removing a wad and a big buildup of the scale and crust. And uh, I'll move my uh, flex shaft along slowly as I'm running it, so it pulls the pile of, of uh, scale back with it. I'm moving my camera head back so I can see what I'm doing and get out of the way of the flex shaft. And then run the flex shaft again slowly and pull it back towards the camera head. And I'll reset, pull the camera head back, uh, keep going at the, with the flex shaft, keep moving that water descale back with me. I know a lot of guys that actually have, you know, water jets to flush out the stuff like this. Um, I don't have that. And um, it works. this works good for residential lines. I suspect with bigger stuff, I'd get a jetter. There we go, a big pile of crust and scale. And basically rinse and repeat, pull back the camera head. Run the flex shaft to keep the pile moving slowly, carefully, you know, reset, pull out until you run the full length of the line. And um, well, that also helps descale the pipe as you go. So you do several runs of that back and forth, back and forth, make sure it's all good and clear. This was another Y that I happened to get into and inadvertently didn't realize it until I had my camera in the clear and uh, seen where my flex shaft went. And this one actually happened to be a dead end. I found out in, in a little bit. I found out it doesn't serve anything that it used to. I guess it used to be a kitchen something where it went over and up through the slab floor and up through a support column or, or something like that. But anyways, I'm at this for a little bit. It looks pretty nasty. Um, probably because it hasn't ever been used in, you know, 20 years or what the case might be. I'm going to go at this for a little bit. I'm going to run some water down fixtures to see if it... Um, lets any water through or if it's plugged and it backs up in fixtures then we'll know but again uh, you'll have this sometimes in older places where they've abandoned lines etc so surprise surprise there is one drain line Y that was not cooperating and um, off to the right you'll see my flag shaft trying to go up a Y and come to find out it's one of the floor drains off to the side in the basement that uh, is not cooperating. So this is actually going to take me probably about just as long as descaling the length of this drain line running through the main of the basement. And slowly but surely I go through this. It was worth the effort because the drain line opened up real nicely going to the floor drain before it was backing up, flooding out their basement. I mean, not completely. Um, it was just like one corner of the basement. Nice finished basement. You never want that. So having a camera and being able to clean out the drain lines at the same time is absolutely priceless. And especially in this case, when you're looking at it, you're not sure where you're going. Um, it is way easier being able to get up the backside of the Y like this versus trying to go through the floor drain. Um, especially when it's an old cast iron floor drain that's starting to crust over. And even if it was a three inch brand new, it's probably closed off a bit more than that. And you're not going to be able to get much through the trap of the floor drain you know what i mean plus who puts in cleanouts back then and if they did they're buried over with uh you know flooring someone closed them with come someone closed them in with concrete um and you'll never find them again and if they did if you didn't know where they were good luck trying to open them up without breaking something you know what i mean the cap or the plug or whatever they might have in there Maybe I'll just speed up this process, but I'm going and going and going at it very, very slowly. Like, I got the clutch set. Sometimes it'll grab. Then I got to back it off, pull it out a little bit. Fortunately, this was a Y off to the right. 
because if it was off to the left, I'd be having to try to run the drill in reverse to kind of steer the head of the flex shaft over to the left. But being at the right turned in my favor. I was able to open it up, clear it out real nicely, get the entire length viewed in my camera. And uh, what do you know? It turned out good. So 50-50, sometimes you just cannot do it. But this turned out all right. Patience is your friend here. It's just a slow game here. I'm trying to maneuver the camera head in a little bit further so I can see where my flex shaft is sitting. And um, it can also be kind of difficult to get the camera head in to steer with the flex shaft itself. Um, if you get the hang of it, you can kind of um, shake it around. You can kind of get the flex shaft to sit up a little bit higher in the pipe to kind of grab the camera head itself and steer it in. Here you can see I'm having a real tough try time trying to get it in the Y itself. But... Um, I'm able to kind of see what's going on. It's just kind of crusted over. What I'm looking for is like something in the line that's not supposed to be there. Like they flushed or, well, it's a floor drain. So maybe if uh, I've seen chunks of the grate that sits on the floor get flushed through, somehow washed through, and uh, here it's sticking, causing a blockage. But um, it's really hard to tell also at this point in time because it's kind of dirty. It's kind of wet. I'm not sure if there's a crack. I'm not sure if right there by the chains is some foreign object but uh, it turns out okay I keep going at it slowly and slowly like I said I'm at this for about the same amount of time I was at the main length of drain line so all in all it took about like five six hours come between this drain here that I'm on and descaling the main so not a whole lot of fun but at the end it was very satisfying and as you can tell uh, you know I have fun recording it and showing you what I do all right, so as we wrap up another video, I'm sorry I didn't get any more of this. Apparently, I forgot to hit record on my camera screen, or uh, it just didn't record. Sometimes it doesn't save to the flash drive. I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's probably because I abused my equipment and uh, didn't uh, want to record, didn't want to do something. But um, I'm going at it slowly. Um, in fact, it, I did actually break... Uh, the flex shaft at one point, uh, fortunately at the very end, where half of the chains were just kind of hanging off to the side. And uh, funny enough, it actually wasn't because of this. It was uh, trying to descale the main part of the drain. So I pulled it out. You can cut it, you can fix it in the field, um, and continue on. But it was this works out really good because I'm on a, sm on a smaller drain line. I don't think you can get anything bigger in there than this size. But it works out in the end, turned out. Um, again, sorry I don't have any more video of actually showing the full length of this after I clean it out. I was probably just tired <laughs> and, and bored of running it at this point, going so slowly, in millimeter by millimeter. But uh, if you're going to be doing this for a living, patience is your friend. You do not want to try to ram it, jam it, go quick, try to cut corners, just slowly, slowly go at it, and uh, you'll be all right.